Sunday, uh, January 23rd, 2011, and uh, today's project, I gotta unclog the sink, and uh, I'm just gonna time this to see how long it takes me. Right now it's uh, one a little after one in the afternoon. So uh, let's see how long it takes this amateur handyman to do this supposedly simple job. Hopefully I don't screw up and destroy the plumbing. So we'll see what happens. So uh, I'm getting ready to do this. Now since I took this off, I don't want the whole room to, you know, the whole house to stink. So I just put a can on here just to cover this pipe to block to prevent all the nasty air from coming back in the house. But unfortunately now I gotta take it off, so. Oh God, the step, oh my God. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. There's no bad smell, but uh, all right. So that's that. All right, now um, on Friday, I went to Home Depot and I bought a snake. This is a snake, no, not the kind that you see in a zoo. Um, and what this thing does is, most people, you might have used this around the house. It's got a little uh, screwy thing there, and you stick this in the drain, and then you hold this, you crank it, and it's supposed to catch whatever's getting stuck in the drain, and then you yank it out. Well, this thing isn't doing the job. It's uh, Either it's too small, or maybe I'm too weak, I don't have enough power to crank and push at the same time, because I'm a skinny, weak little guy. So, I went to the rental apartment this afternoon, and I bought this. This should do the job. It's got a much bigger uh, screw tip on the end, and it's powered by a drill. And uh, this thing packs a lot of torque, as you can see. So, this baby better get the job done. And I've got four hours to do it, because I'm, I'm renting it by the hour. So, uh, it's currently 118. I have to have this done by four o'clock. So, all right, let's begin. And as you can tell, I took all the uh, cabinet doors off, and the reason being for that is um, well, a couple of reasons. So I could get at easier access, so I wouldn't have to, you know, bang my elbows on something. So I can get, crawl in here easier, also to let in more light, and so that I can see what I'm doing. All right, so I've got a bucket here just to catch any junk or whatever that comes out. Gloves. All right, time to begin. All right, so I'm just going to start feeding the cable, and this is, I think, 25 feet. So this should be plenty, plenty long enough. And then to lock the cable, you pull back on the collar like this, and then that locks it so that you can, uh, it'll spin the cable. Now I'm gonna pull this out just to see out of curiosity. If I actually if I caught anything. Well that's rather disappointing. Nothing. Alright, so either I'm pushing the clog through or there's not enough. I don't know what's going on, but wait a minute. Get to the chopper! Get to the chopper! Okay, um, pretty much done snaking. I actually ran out of cable. It's uh, 25 feet long. I pushed the whole thing through, so I'm hoping I'm done. And I uh, put the trap back together. Now the final test. <sighs> All right, let's keep our fingers crossed. Yes! Success! All right. Oh man, I've never been so excited about water going down a drain before. How pathetic. Ah, now I can finally use my kitchen sink again. What a relief. Well, I guess it's safe to say that this project is now concluded. It was a success. And it took me about roughly an hour to do. And it was all thanks to this wonderful tool, the General Super V. Gotta get me one of these. Oh, I don't know if I want to go up there. I'm afraid of heights. Ah. Sunday, February 13th. It's the day before Valentine's Day. And I'll show some love by giving my house some love. And right now I'm on the roof, as you can see. And um, I'm trying to fix a little roofing problem. Um, two weeks ago we had a really big, big snowstorm and there was about two feet of snow on my roof. 
and um, my pipes downstairs in the house obviously got clogged up because the snow was over here and was actually covering the vent. So anyway, what I'm doing today, it's nice weather, is um, I already started to cover this up. I put one of these adapters so that I can put another pipe, all right? And that's gonna fit in nicely like that. And I just put a little mesh screen. So now the next time we get some snow, hopefully the snow will only go up to here and then the pipes won't get clogged up. So let's get to work. All right, so this thing's in pretty tight and I didn't even have to use any uh, PVC glue or cement or whatever it's called. Usually I use this stuff, it's like rubber cement. It's very toxic. But since this is so tight, I'm just gonna leave it on like that. And then this. And then. Now I'm not hitting this directly with the mallet because I don't want to damage the screen. So I'm using the handle of the hammer just to insulate the blow. That's about it. And there is the finished product. So now next time it snows, ugh, I shouldn't have to worry about any ice going in there. And I'm gonna move on down to the kitchen. Whee! All right, here's the one for the kitchen. Uh, this one, I didn't put an adapter on yet. So, I've got the adapter here. That's gonna go on like so. All right, and there's the finished product. I got the screen on there to keep out the snow and ice. So now I don't have to worry about uh, my drain vents being clogged up. All right, let's get off this shaky roof here, shall we? Whoa, getting kind of dizzy. Okay, I lied, this project wasn't really done yet. A few months later, in the spring, I replaced the screen with an elbow to prevent snow and rain from going down the pipe. I'm always adding on to something if it's an improvement. Stay tuned to see what my next crazy project is going to be.